hi everyone what do we have here we have this mobile pcb received from another shop another technician and the pcb is not powering on so the first thing i had to connect it to my DC power supply through the charging port to monitor the charging circuit and as you can see that's a clear current trigger in the charging circuit right which shows that there is a short in the charging circuit as you can see the, the current trigger is really high so because of that i knew that there was a shot and i tried to feel if i will get any heat in the pcb because that's a high current trigger which will normally cause uh, even a small heat in the pcb so i was filling up the heat to see if i can feel the heat because i don't have a thermal camera and there was a little bit of heat coming from the pcb so because of that i knew that there was a shot and um, i had to go on then actually check the vibus line of the the pcb so first i checked the v bat and the v bat was okay so i had to look up the pcb from the connector heading to the down board to see if i can identify the the v bus pin in the connector so that i can test so that's what i was looking at and i looking at the connector i knew where the v bus is and as you can see that's a shot in the in the v bus line which shows that yeah there is actually a shot in the vibus line in the pcb so we will see how we can troubleshoot this fault and uh, yeah you will learn a lot from it learn a lot from this video so subscribe if you are watching this on youtube give the video a like and follow if you are watching this on tiktok and also don't forget forget to get my courses i reduce the price of my basic and professional level course you can check it from the link in the video description on my bio or send me a message on whatsapp if you want the courses you will learn everything from the basics so i removed the shield and what i was looking for i was looking for the ovp ic because this is the first ic that the that the vibus voltage passes through before it gets to the to the pcb to the charging ic for protection you understand so i test the capacitor and the, yeah there that's a shot that's a shot right there and I had to test everything again just to be clear so I tested as you can see from the other screen the one that I added I was testing the capacitors and it shows a shot this one right here that's a coil that passes the v -bus voltage and that's okay to beep in both sides but not okay to beep when you are testing it to ground so also that capacitor was shorting which shows that there is an abnormal reading here there is a short there right so it was very clear so i had to confirm if the ovp ic is the one heating up or if the there there are other components like capacitors around it heating up so we had to pr to spray our rosin flux in the pcb then inject voltage in the in the area so just look at what i'm doing here so i sprayed it set our voltage to 4.5 that's still okay then the, i had to inject the voltage just look look at what i did here how i did it so i just place my black probe to the ground use the red probe to inject voltage and boom that's easy right so the video is not done yet because when i did this i noticed the ovp is, is shorting i know how to jump at the ovp and i thought that the ovp was the, the fault so i was removing this thinking yeah everything is okay the phone is going to work but nope so that's why i said you will learn a lot from the video so those who back up from here are going to miss a lot yeah so look at what i did here so you need to be watching this uh, having the mindset that i'm solving the problem by removing this so that you will learn when you face this kind of difficulties because i was removing the ovp ic thinking that i'm going to solve the problem problem right so but i did not so i removed it the ovp ic and i had to jumper it's very easy to jumper right so the ovp ic doesn't have any big function in this area just to protect them from the name ovp it's over voltage protection ic it protects the the voltage going to the charging ic right so which means that there is a very easy method to jump out. you can just link a cable from the the inductor which is like a resistor to the other capacitor in the other side so what i did i just connect the pins from the charging from the from the ovp ic pins as i remove the ic right there are two pins that are connected 
connecting both of the, the the resistor that i'm talking about to the other ic to the other capacitor in the other side so i had to test to see if there is still a shot and there was no shot right which confirms that the ovp ic was the one causing the shot so I, all i had to do now to connect to jump out this area like i said you just have to link so that there will be a continuation in the in the line so that yeah so that's what i did just connect the, those two pins those are the two pins that are connecting the 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 voltage from the inductor to the other capacitor big capacitor that you see so i tested and the, everything was okay so i put in the phone and thinking that everything will be okay the phone did not charge at all no signs of powering on and um, no trigger no current consumption in the dc power supply so because of that i knew that there was a problem in the charging ic yeah looking at it right here you can see that that i already removed the charging ic i did not record this because my phone was low but i removed the charging ic because i had to replace it so it seems like even though the the ovp ic protected the over voltage or any fluctuating voltage from getting into the phone yeah it did not succeed in stopping the voltage from getting into the to the charging ic to damage it so we had to work on the charging ic so as you can see i, I have removed the charging ic and what i what i'm doing right here i'm swapping the charging ic just from another pcb so this is the other ic from the other pcb that i removed so all i had to do i clean everything up so just look at how i'm doing everything and again about my courses you will learn a lot if you get my courses if you are someone who always wanted to learn mobile repairing following me wanting to learn all my troubleshooting skills you can get my courses my professional level course i keep it updated so if you get the courses right now with feature lessons that i'm adding you are not going to pay for that because i keep adding we learn every day and when i learn i upload it the upload uh, when i learn something new i make sure to upload the video in the professional level course so that everyone will stay updated right so what we are doing here we are reballing the the IC swapped from another board to the PCB that we are working on and that's the charging IC so that's the charging IC so in case you are wondering how exactly I I suspected the the charging IC I know that this was the, 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 the position where the problem was coming from this was the IC that causing the that was causing the fault even though the shot was gone it's because I connected it to my DC power supply through the charging port right through the USB port and there was no zero current consumption even when the battery was connected and I knew very well that my connection in the OVP section is okay that jumper was okay and also I connected it to my charger that shows the current consumption there was no current consumption and when i tried to power up the mobile pcb right so with a single click in the power button the the current goes up to 120 milliampere so that might seem like it's a different ic causing the fault like the cpu but if you monitor the how the, the, the current behavior is and also if you monitor that there is no single current consumption when you connect the, the phone to charge you will notice that, notice that you have to start with the with the charging section first before going to any other section so that's how i troubleshooted this phone to know the exact side that is causing the fault so i place the charging ic i put everything together to test if the phone is working and if the phone will charge and yeah seems like everything was okay as you can see the phone powered up and the love to connect the charger and everything is good so don't forget to get my courses and follow me for more videos don't forget to like the video also thank you and see you soon